So I'd love to hear from you, Shabir, about um, you know when you when you first started right. on, on this track of basically saving companies billions of dollars. I mean, it's just so impressive to me because most of my work has been in the area of doing new things, doing right. innovations, yes. and a lot of your work has really been helping companies transform their core operations. Right. And I'd love to know how you, when you first begin to work with a company, mm -hmm. what do you start with? See, the, the most important element for me is that first thing I, when I meet with the CEO, the first question I ask is that, what is your number one pain? Mm -hmm. Number one pain, right? So it takes a long time. They don't even know because they hit the wall when I say, well, what do you mean by the pain, right? So ultimately what I find out, pain is all about the finance, right? Because the CEO's number one job is to make the organization profitable, net profit, right? So when you are going to a billion dollar company, so one of the, you know, one of the global fortune 100 company I work with, the, when I meet with the CEO, CEO said, can you save me $2 billion in three years? So the first question is, $2 billion in three years? Are you kidding? Can I find $2 billion worth of waste in your company? And the CEO said, you can find $10 billion waste in my company. $10 billion, right? Which is fascinating, right? So the first thing what we do is that once they talk about it, once I find it, we can solve. So what we do is that, first thing is that leader has to talk, the CEO has to talk to their leadership team and tell them, Okay, this is the goal. By what date? They, so one of the things what we talk about in the process side, okay, by within 36 months, right? By 31st of December of 2020, we are going to save $2 billion, right? So when we talk like that, like, then what happens is that it comes back to the project. So all of them ultimately, so the first 90 days, we literally don't do at all any solving of the project, none. We identify those projects, and each of the projects, we then figure it out what is the financial impact of those projects, right? Financial saving. And then their finance department has to sign off, right? And I normally don't do any project selection into that which my methods cannot help. So only one which you have a confidence. So almost we have a 95 to 96% success rate on each of the project. So all the project is select, normally we solve them. So what happened with that particular client? After, um, within 18 months, we saved them three and a half billion. 18 months, three and a half billion. Now the good thing is that because we saved like almost three and a half billion dollars, but what I did, we also trained their own people. One thing I really believe in, that I rather wanted to work for multiple different types of organization, rather than working for one or two. So what we do is that we also train their people. It is even more fun if you, teach your students, right? And if you see them successful, you are, it is even more fun, right? You being a teacher, think about it. When you see that your students are succeeding, you become even more excited, right? It's the same thing. When our client become more successful after we leave them, that is even more exciting. So one of the things happened with that particular company, they're saving right now after we left, two years after we left, 10 billion, 